Okay, so here's how to cut and resize your IKEA Skog Slover, Skog Slover, something like that, uh, roller shade. And here we've just cut off about an inch and a half. And you'll see that it now fits right within the frame of the window. Okay, and so uh, after having done that, you have a window shade, a rolling window shade that works quite nicely and uh, works well. Uh, so here's how you're going to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to make sure that we take apart the correct side. Um, you're going to be working on the right side as you're facing it. So when you're taking a look at this, you'll notice that this is the rear. So the rear has the little piece in it that uh, catches catches the little roller so it looks like that okay so um, that's going to be the rear piece and if you're looking at that this is how it installs into the window this will be the right side of the window and so what we'll do first is we'll unscrew this and then we'll take this piece off okay so now that we have the, uh, the roller shade all laid out um, and again we're looking at the right hand side here all you do is you take a hammer and you can use a the end of a screwdriver or not then you just knock this part out and then once that part gets knocked out then you can put that to the side for now you're going to go down here and you're going to do the same thing so uh, down at the very bottom take something like a screwdriver and then stick it into here and then give it a knock and then the cap oops there we go the cap will come out and then this whole piece will then easily slide out so if we take a look at this we should be able to slide this out quite easily There you go. So this piece, uh, we're going to have to cut this down. Uh, this we're going to have to cut and then uh, we'll go on to the next part. Okay, so this is a 48 inch blind, the roller shade. And as you can see, this is going to require us to cut it um, to about 46 and a half. So if we, you're going to want to go a little bit shorter than that and just to be safe. Um, and again, measure this not at the bottom but at the top um, because that's where your roller shade is going to go and it might be a little bit smaller than this actually. And that's the case with this particular window that I'm looking at and it's actually smaller at the top by about a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch than it is at the bottom. So do that first, measure it at the top. Okay. See how many inches you're going to need to cut off. So in this case it'll be an inch and a half at least and go a little bit beyond that. So maybe an inch and uh, five eighths or something like that. Okay, and just as another note, um, when you're removing this side, you'll probably want to get a screwdriver and then go in here and just pry this part apart uh, before you separate it because you don't want this part to come out. This is the part with the spring in it. Now that you remove this piece, you can now take this long piece. Um, if you don't have a long straight ruler, um, you can lay this one down and then you can put this down to use to draw your line and then um, you can use that to, as your long ruler. Now we'll cut this after we cut after we cut this line and we'll cut it all the way up then the next thing we'll do is we'll, we'll cut the uh, pole to be a little bit shorter as well. This part um, is not a spring mechanism and that easily whoops that will easily slide right out and this is just a dampening mechanism so that can come out because we're going to be cutting into this end next. Okay so now that I've cut that piece off to make it at the right width I'm going to subtract the same length from the end of the tube here and um, you notice that it's going to be actually a little bit longer and that's because you have to make up for the fact that the blind is actually shorter. So measure the amount you have to cut off. Like I said, for this particular case, it was an inch and a half shorter. So we need to cut this um, an inch and a half shorter from the end of the pipe. So the end of the pipe to here has to be an inch and a half. And from the blind, end of the blind material over to here, that's an inch and a half. And that's why you see that I'm cutting here a little bit uh, further out. And so what I'm using is I'm using a pipe cutter. If you can get a pipe cutter, but Ikea has these pipe cutters that are really inexpensive too, um, that they sell. So I think they're like $6 or something and you could get one of those as well and use that. But anyways, I'm just going to cut this pipe by 
tightening this up and I'm going to rotate it around and spin it and after I spin it a few times it'll come right off and you'll see. Now as I spin this around at one point what will happen is this will break free and become very loose and then this part should just come right off. Now what's going to happen don't worry about it being dirty because you're not really going to see this this is going to be way up at the top but uh, this is going to be quite sharp so just be careful of that and inside here you're going to have to get a file and we're going to file this part down either with some sandpaper or a metal file and as I mentioned before um, you should notice that this is going to be slightly shorter um, the, the uh, material is going to be slightly shorter than the length of the end of the tube so next thing you have to do is use something like a hacksaw um, to cut the ends off um, and uh, then after you cut the ends off then you have to use something like a file to get all the burrs out there's a lot of burrs you can see that the metal edge is not uh, it's kind of rough and you've got to be careful you don't want to cut your fingers or anything on that um, I actually use a Dremel um, and using the Dremel it makes it pretty easy to clean out things like the inside again you'll find a lot of burrs in there uh, when we get to the next part where we actually have to put that piece back inside if this isn't cleaned out well it won't slide back in so again, um, you know, take your time with a pipe cutter and just make sure you, you, you take your time and you spin it around a lot and you only increase the pressure a little bit at a time. And then when you're reaming this out and you're sanding this part out or use sandpaper or a file, just make sure you get all the burrs out and it's nice and smooth. And then the other piece should go right in. It just slides right in quite easily when you do that. Okay, and so we'll, do, we'll take a look at that next then. So the next thing you have to do is to just staple the end here where you cut it. Um, just put these staples back, that'll keep it all together. Slide this on. Uh, when you slide this on, just make sure that the flat bottom part of this lines up along the bottom of the tube there so there's a flat section. So just run it along there and then the piece will come out the top. Slide it all the way down and if you manage to slide it all the way down, it will look like that. Um, the cap obviously will go right on the end and then you can just hammer that back into place and after you do that then we'll go up to the top um, at the top now and you can see we just rolled it out just make sure you roll it out again the same way so that it's rolling so that the, the fabric is down and it rolls up like that the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put this back and again we roll it out the same way so uh, if we put that back in that will fit back in there at the end um, and then what we'll do is we'll make sure that the, the this little piece goes back in easily so let's just make sure there are these little grooves so if you take a look at the little groove that's along the side that matches up with the little piece that's there and uh, and there on the other side so let's see See if we can match. So yeah, so I did sand it properly. I just had to line up those uh, lines that you see there. And so once those lines are lined up, it just slides right in. Push it right in securely. Um, that's all you need there. And then we'll go to the other side and we'll try and get that on. And then we'll put this one on the same way. This this side has the little um, square end in it. And then we'll put that on. And then we'll that should slide in just fine on the end. So go to the other side first. And see if we can get this to line up and that has an end that looks like this and that has an end that looks like that so now that we've got that end pushed back on and we fitted that side in first and then this side um, again don't be too concerned about if this gets a little dirty or whatever you're really not going to see it you can try and clean it off if you want that's some of the uh, grease from the pipe cutter and again you'll notice that the window shade uh, material is actually cut a little bit shorter than the the length of the, um, the tubing, the pipe that goes up at the top. So whatever it is, just to make sure you're cutting the same length off of the rail at the top. So again, it was an inch and a half cut off of there from that, that location to that location, don't include that. So an inch and a half from there, from the end, don't include the little bit at the end, but when you're measuring that, that's an inch and a half that we cut off. And then the fabric from this point all the way in, it was an inch and a half that we cut off there. And then finally, don't forget that you want to put that little screw back in that's at the top. You can see here that the window shades are done, and I've put them up now, so we just need to pull them down. And uh, there they are, they lock into place. Done. And uh, if you want to pull them up, just get my yank, and there they go.
rolling up nicely. Okay, that's it.